each city has its own pace. Living in the basin at the estuary of the Min River, the people of Fuzhou smell the first wisp of jasmine on the summer breeze. The city is busy at night. This flower and its fragrance nourishes the local people. It is Fuzhou's signature smell in summer. When the jasmine plant blooms, its fragrance lingers in the air. April and May is when the spring tea harvest takes place. Fuzhou has a lot of green tea production. Local people have maintained the tradition of worshipping heaven and earth before the harvest commences. At this time, every year, Fu Tianlong and his brother organize a ceremony like this. After this joyful rite, the tea processing begins. Unlike other tea producing areas, Fuzhou's spring harvest is not all for sale. Most of it is stored in warehouses, waiting for it to mature and reach its peak. The people in the city are also waiting. Every summer, Xiaolan and her sisters come all the way from Guizhou. At the height of summer, almost all the jasmine flowers bloom at the same time. Picking the flowers requires a large number of workers. <laughs> As Xiaolan and her co-workers sing folk songs in the jasmine fields, Fuzhou gets busy. During jasmine harvest season, Chen Xiulan helps brides look as beautiful as possible. She and her sisters all serve as MCs at wedding ceremonies. According to local tradition, only married women can serve as MCs. If the wedding ceremony is held in summer, she always uses her favorite prop. After saying goodbye to her clients, Chen rushes to the jasmine field. She's been working with this flower grower for a long time. Freshly picked jasmine flowers are waiting for her. This small bag of jasmine flowers is enough for a grand wedding ceremony. Unlike Chen, perfumist doesn't need to fetch the flowers himself. He's been waiting for the grower to send the flowers directly to his home. Once they arrive, he'll make jasmine balm using a time-honored method. Fuzhou is the world's 
躺在临江两岸的茉莉花，它是世界上最清香的茉莉花，就是其他任何地方所不能取代的。Jasmine is known as the king of flowers. Jasmine essential oil is known as the king of essential oils. Its production cost is currently over 60,000 euros per litre. It is the most expensive and high-end perfume in the world. Even in France, the centre of the perfume industry, the idea of creating a special jasmine oil is the dream of many a perfumist. Unlike Chen and Guo, tea maker Gao Yuzhong needs more jasmine flowers. He is meticulous about the quality and selects newly picked buds at the grower's home. The jasmine flower only releases its fragrance when it's in full bloom. Once it withers, it develops a herbal flavor. Taking advantage of its short flowering period is vital for Gao. The picked buds usually bloom after 7 p.m. Whether the buds he buys will burst into full bloom tonight determines the quality of the jasmine tea. Xiaolan's daily income relies on her experience and speed of picking flowers. She comes to this field at 2 p.m. every day. This is the hottest hour of the day but it's also the best time for picking flowers. If the buds are picked prematurely, they won't have received enough nutrients and light. Even if they bloom, they won't fully release their fragrance. It takes experience to judge which ones will bloom on any given night and which will bloom the following night. She has to finish her work before dusk and sends the buds to the flower warehouse. Bin is preparing to make jasmine balm. He pours the processed plant oil onto the glass and then carefully puts the jasmine flowers onto it. This is an old and time-consuming method. Though it guarantees the purity of the jasmine balm, the resulting volume is rather limited. As a result, it has been replaced by various modern methods. Guobin is really into this traditional method. He feels it can best preserve the beautiful life of the jasmine flowers. This is not the machine. This is only the machine. The machine is the machine. 花跟这个磷脂结合的时候，这个花是有活性的，而你用用磷用其他的方式，那个花就缺少这个活性，而且它不能够保持这么好的味道。那这个是应该属于真正的我们真正意义上的奢侈品。Creating perfume from jasmine is extremely difficult. And has become the eternal pursuit of many a perfumist. Guobin hopes to carefully extract essential oil from the jasmine balm. Gao is carrying the buds to his courtyard. He's filtering out the impurities and any buds that won't bloom today. Only the blooming flowers remain. This filtering process requires a skilled wrist action 
and rich experience. Gao has been doing this for 32 years. Suddenly, the jasmine wafts through the air in Fuzhou. Jasmine is being processed in every corner of this city. The spring tea that has been maturing for about two months also seems to have caught whiff of the jasmine and comes alive. On this special night, the fragrance of tea and jasmine come together. The tea is refreshing, while the jasmine has a strong fragrance. After being kept together for the night, the jasmine tea is ready. This process is known as scenting. Fujian has a history of tea production stretching back over 1,300 years. Scented tea appeared as early as the Song Dynasty. The most famous and widespread variety is jasmine tea. Fuzhou was the first place in the world to scent jasmine tea. Gao chooses to scent the tea by hand. During the process of scenting, the flowers release heat, increasing the temperature of the pile of the mix. Ta and flower, Gao observes how the flowers change constantly and stirs them every four or five hours to maintain the correct temperature and humidity until the flowers wither and turn yellow. This marks the end of the scenting process. Controlling the scenting means that this 60-year-old man cannot sleep straight through the night. In the morning, the flowers have withered. The withered pedicle has a distinctive herbal flavor, which will affect the quality of the balm. Guobin must quickly remove all impurities. This is a time-consuming process. <laughs> Gorbin needs to scent the balm with fresh jasmine flowers and remove the impurities repeatedly over the course of a month. From the 对茉莉有很深的一种情节，同时作为一个调香师，他也很清楚这种冷气法是所有提取精油跟提取茉莉活性的一个呃应该来讲最完美的一个过程。The wedding ceremony that Chen Xiulan is emceeing will take place this morning.
我们在贺仔当中嘛，我们一般都夸新娘啊、美丽呀、啊，都把这种哎呃新娘美丽助人夸呀，就像我们福州的茉莉花、像四花呀，我们在贺彩当中，所以说就会自然而然就会把这种四花给融入。Chen comes from a family of wedding MCs. As Chinese society changes, wedding ceremonies are also changing. The venues have moved from farmlands and courtyards to hotels. Although there are many new and creative traditions, what Chen likes the best is the blessing that Jasmine brings to the new couple at a summer wedding ceremony. It's said that Jasmine arrived in India and Persia and was introduced into China during the Western Han Dynasty. Fuzhou was among the first places to grow it. This city has many legends regarding jasmine. Jasmine tea is a practical creation invented by the local people. As a skilled worker, Xiao Lan picks 15 kilograms of jasmine flowers per day, which is about 45,000 buds, earning her about 150 yuan. She can save 3,000 yuan per month, which is a lot of money, back in her home province of Guizhou. Guo Bin's jasmine balm is custom made for his clients. A glass pane can be used to make 600 milliliters of balm. Guobin can make 10 batches during the blossoming season, enough for 6 liters. Because of this low output, jasmine balm remains a luxurious item only available to a small group of people. After 12 hours of scenting, the flowers have withered and their fragrance has been fully absorbed by the tea. Gao Yujiang separates the flowers from the tea to keep it from being polluted by the wilted flowers. There are many types of tea in China. Most of them require just two or three days to get from the tea gardens to the markets and shops. Making scented tea takes a lot of time, especially jasmine tea. Traditional Fuzhou jasmine tea needs to be scented four times. The last scenting requires the highest level of technical skill. An error in this final step can ruin everything. In the era of industrialized production, scented Fuzhou jasmine tea is the least mechanized variety of tea. High quality jasmine tea requires excellent tea, flowers and techniques, as well as good weather. As a result, handmade tea is quite precious. In early July, this tea booth in Fuzhou is filled with customers. Tomorrow, as rumor has it, the owner will close up shop to focus on making tea. So most of his long-standing customers have shown up for one last tasting. They sip fine tea 
listen to stories and chat. Mr. Lin is a frequent customer and has decided to teach everybody a new song. Over the next two months, Jasmine will reach its peak blossoming period. During this time, many people will vanish from their social circles to concentrate on scenting jasmine tea. A flower and a tea leaf make up the story of jasmine tea. A wisp of fragrance and a city are the story of the Fuzhou people. Because of the latitude, climate, light conditions, and soil here, this flower and tea encounter each other in such a beautiful way. They form a perfect combination. With its beautiful flowers and industrious people, Fuzhou is a heady mix of the romantic and practical. For hundreds of years, numerous tea makers have been obsessed with the complicated process of making tea. Experience the suspense these tea makers feel as they compete in a tea contest. Join us for the next part of Fuzhou, City of Jasmine Tea.